have, have, didn't have my mic on this whole time. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's my bad. Well, welcome to uh, week, uh, I don't know what number week this is actually, but welcome, welcome. Register to vote. Hit us up for private trivia. If you're interested in sponsoring the show, hit us up at hello at herbpeeltours.com. Let's talk about the rules again. So, if you haven't already, go to crowd.live slash herbappeal on your second device. Because that is where you're going to answer the questions. Now, there is a time component to all of these questions. So, the faster you can get these correct answers and the more points you will get. But... The person with the most amount of points at the end of each game is going to be the winner. And in seventh place is going to get $5 to Boyle Resale, my favorite resale shop in Detroit over in uh, Eastern Market. Second place is going home with $5 to Boyle and $5 to Bagley Central, a great uh, bar here in Hubbard Richard. They can't have people in the bar right now. You know why. But they do do to-go cocktails and to-go uh, jerky. And beer and smiles and friendship. All right, that's enough of that. So there's gonna be 15 questions each round. In between each round, we are going to do a little segment called Ask John, where you can ask me any question you'd like, and I will go ahead and answer that. So go ahead and get those questions in now because there's a delay between what happens here and what happens there. I want to make sure I get to your questions. I know you got some good ones for me this week. All right, question one. You guys ready? Because here we go. What local school did this material girl attend? Is it A, U of M? Is it B, MSU? Is it C, EMU? Or is it D, Marygrove? So we are looking for which one she went to. You all probably know which, who I'm talking about here. Correct answer is A, U of M, Madonna. All right, on to uh, <laughs> more technical difficulties. <laughs> on to question two. What Detroit neighborhood is known for being settled by Irish immigrants? Is it A, Fitzgerald? Is it B, top of the morning side? Oh, top of the morning, oh, top side. Of the morning side to you. Is it C, Rosedale Park? Or is it D, Corktown? Probably knows. He's growling about it. Correct answer is D, Corktown. All right, on to question three. 75% of you knew that. Way to go. On to question three. What sports team's practice facility will have a ballot drop-off for the upcoming election? Is it A, Tigers? Is it B, Pistons? Is it C, Lions, or is it D, Red Wings? Just announced in the past couple of days. Going to help out with the uh, election. The ballot box drop-off, and that is going to be at B, the Pistons practice, practice facility. All right, 53% of you got that right or guessed that right. Either way, you got the point, so way to go. That's three questions in the book, so we're going to take a look at our leaderboard, see how everybody's doing, see where things are mixing up. So in seventh place, we have OK Man with uh, some amount of points. It went by too quickly. In second place, Will McDowell, 166 points. In first place, it's cut off on my screen, but it's King Keme. That's where I leave it. Do you know who it is? Do you know what it says? I do. King Kamehameha is what Nick is claiming. Kamehameha <laughs> says, says Joey. We'll have to uh, figure out which one it is. All right, Nick. <laughs> Question four. How long is the Rouge River? Is it A, 218 miles? Is it B, 127 miles? Is it C, 33 miles? Or is it D, 83 miles? We're looking for the length of the Rouge River. Correct answer is B, 127 miles. Don't have to cut off your arm to do that. 
41% of you got that right. <laughs> On to question five. In what city is the world's largest tire? Is it A, Allen Park? Is it B, Romulus? Is it C, Detroit? Is it D, Ypsilanti? World's largest tire. So many of you have seen it. It's off 94. And that is an A. Allen Park. Hmm. Question five. Actually, that was question five. Let's do question six. Why I'm not? sick of question five. Screw that question five. Question six. Who came up with this plan for Detroit? Is it A, Lewis Cass? Is it B, John R. Williams? Is it C, Stevens T. Mason, or is it D, Augustus Woodward? And for the plan that is shown on your second device, yeah, right about here ish. <laughs> that is D, Augustus Woodward. But a lot of you guys got that right. We talked about him quite a bit on the show. Oh, only 50%. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty evenly, evenly answered. So now the three questions in the book, so that means we're going to take a look at the leaderboard. It looks like a bit of a, now I can read it. So in fourth place is King Kamehameha. <laughs> in uh, second place, we got Will McDowell, 343 points. Just uh, narrowing out a Andy Lobster Bisky. First place, Kevin Kleps. Way to go, Kevin. Got Nina Kran Kranz playing tonight. And Mars out in Knoxville, Tennessee. Welcome back every week. Jared Bookmeyer playing. What up, J Rod? And my mom's playing. All kinds of people playing. Got a cat playing. All right, on to question seven. What building has been called Detroit's largest art object? Is it A, the Guardian? Is it B, the Renaissance Center? Is it C, the Penobscot? Or is it D, the Fisher Building? Which building has been called that? They're all great buildings, but only one of them is called Detroit's largest art object. And that is D, the Fisher Building. Let's see how many of you knew that? Only 12%. A lot of you thought the Guardian Building, understandable, very beautiful building, but very wrong. <laughs> Question eight. What Detroit venue hosted a Democratic presidential debate in 2019? Is it A, the Fisher Theater? Is it B, the Fox Theater? Is it C, the TCF Center? Or is it D, the Detroit Opera House? I always see opera houses. I never see opera apartments, opera condos. I guess there's not enough space. I don't know the acoustics I like in most condos. It's gotta be a house. Correct answer there is D, the Fish or uh, the Fox Theater. Right, I wrote it down on my script there. The Fox Theater. B, the Fox Theater. Question eight. What the. Oh, no, we already did question eight. <laughs> question nine. What was the name of the bank that originally built the Guardian Building? Is it A, Guardian Bank? Is it B, Morgan Stanley? Is it C, Wells Fargo? Or is it D, Union Trust Company? Name of the bank that originally built the Garden Building. It was originally not called the Garden Building. It was called the Union Trust Building because it was owned by Wells Fargo. Just kidding. It was Union Trust Company. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's live studio audience. <laughs> I should kiss someone so you guys can go. Woo! All right, let's take a look at the leader. <laughs> oh, looks like we got the mix up. In seventh place, in line for $5 to borrow, is Mim P. In second place, in line for $5 to borrow and $5 to Bagley Central, is Will McDowell. And jumping up to first place, clawing his way up, Andy Lobster Bisky. Hopefully, you put the crawfish to bed. They don't need to see how well you're doing. Question 10, I don't know why. Question 10, what is the actual name of the Belle Isle Bridge? Is it A, the Winston Churchill Bridge? Is it B, the Douglas A. MacArthur Bridge? Is it C, the George Patton Bridge? 
Or is it B, the Franklin D. Roosevelt Bridge? Going for the official name of the Belle Isle Bridge. That is B, the Douglas A. MacArthur Bridge. Obviously kept with the World War II theme there. And the answer is he was a general. 59% of you got that right. Or, as Joey pointed out to me earlier, maybe you just guessed right. Either way, points are the same. Question 11. What area university was supposed to host a presidential debate this October, but canceled it? Is it A, EMU? Is it B, UDM? Is it C, OU? Or is it D, U of M? Hopefully you guys know what universities those are. Sorry, based on their <laughs> abbreviation. Correct answer is D, U of M. So they scheduled it up until COVID-19 happened and they canceled it for obvious reasons. Now I want to have a bunch of people there. 44% of you got that right. Looks like 33% thought it was UDM. Two people thought it was EMU and two people thought it was OU. Question 12. Where is Detroit's drive through COVID testing site moved to? Is it A, Palmer Park? Is it B, State Fairgrounds? Is it C, Ford Field? Or is it D, Joseph Walker Williams Community Center? And for the place that it has moved to, and that is D, the Joseph Walker Williams Community Center. This is a mouthful, but it's a very convenient way to get tested. I think you might be infected. It is free if you don't have insurance. And if you don't have a ride to get there, you can sign up on the city's website for a $2 round trip ride. So very affordable. Looks like a lot of you thought of state fairgrounds. That's where it moved from. Now it's at the Joseph Walker Williams Community Center, which is a mouthful, but a very convenient way to get tested. And if you're not familiar with where that is, it's just north of Henry Ford Hospital on Rosa Park. All right. On to question 13. Which of these is not a specialty pizza offered by Jet? Is it A, Chicken Parmesan? Is it B, Eugene Supreme? Is it C, Jet 10? Or is it D, Mexican Fiesta? I'm looking for the one that is not offered by Jet. That is D, Mexican Fiesta. Came up with this question last night while ordering a pizza from Jet. I wanted a Mexican, I was hoping there was a Mexican Fiesta pizza, <laughs> and I was sadly disappointed. And I said, you know what? That's a good question. You know what? Yeah, I gotta. When you lose, don't leave a message. <laughs> Take a look at the leaderboard. So in seventh place, we have Chris Wallace, fresh off the moderating debate. It's either Chris Wallace <laughs> or uh, possibly Christopher Wallace, notorious B.I.G. He's dead. So I think they're both probably equally likely. Uh, looks like Laura Dunn is playing this week. Oh, my sister is playing all the way from sunny Hawaii. Welcome, Sarah. Rips Hamilton's is playing. But in second place, Will McDowell, 743 points. In first place, Andy Bisky, 847 points. 47 points. Question 14, second to last question of game one. What Detroit venue was listed for sale this week? Is it A, St. Andrews? Is it B, Fillmore? Is it C, the Majestic Complex? Or is it D, the Fox Theater? So hot off the presses, just announced, I think, Monday. That is the Majestic Complex. So that's all the Majestic Theater, Sergeant Pepperoni's, uh, the Magic Stick, the Majestic Cafe, all up for sale. Could be yours. I didn't see a price listed. Garden Bowl. The Garden Bowl? How can I forget? That one's always rolling through my mind. <laughs> all right. Take a look at that leaderboard. <laughs> All right, looks like we have the little mix-ups. Oh, the seventh place is still Chris Wallace, 435 points. we got Jesser's B, cracking the top three, 621 points. 
Second place, Will McDowell, 840 points. And clawing his, him off <laughs> <laughs> is Andy the Lobster Zinski, 926 points. Let's see if he can be caught. Going into our final question. What street is this taken on? Is it A, Ver? Is it B, Lafayette? Is it C, Fort? Or is it D, Bagley? Which of those fine Detroit streets is it? <laughs> Could be any of them, but it isn't. It's only one. That one. So we got Mexican Town. The main drag in Mexican Town is D, Bagley. Let's see how many of you got that right. Only 35%. Some people thought it was Lafayette. One person thought it was Fort. Four people thought it was Vernon. I guess we might as well talk about them all. We're going to talk about a few of them. Let's see if that changed our final standings. <laughs> I don't know why that pause happened, but it did. In seventh place, going with $5 to borrow resale is Rips Hamilton. In second place, Will McDowell used to win. He's used to winning, folks, but he's in second place. But second place isn't so bad when you get five dollars from Boro and five dollars from Bagley Central. In first place, Andy the Lobster Bisky. Free walking tour, Andy. We'll do it next week. <laughs> Before we move on to game two, we're going to take a look at our Ask John section. Uh, a lot of you told me you can't hear me. Hopefully that has changed. <laughs> Angela Bisky says the laugh track is great. So way to go, laugh track in the back. <laughs> Famous people here. What's your favorite place to get lobster bisque? Asked Will McDowell. Will McDowell. Wow, when was the last time I had lobster bisque? And where was it? I, last time I had it was at London Chop House, and it was quite good. Other than that, my mom makes a tremendous lobster bisque. So my number one place to get it is my mom's house. Second place will go London Chop House. Jessica Lee Ann asks, why doesn't third place get a prize? <laughs> uh, because I knew you were going to get it, and I don't like it. <laughs> what is your favorite walking route through Courttown? So, <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, Charlie and I go through many walks through Court Town. Our, I'd say our long walk is our favorite. We go up to Michigan Avenue, and we take that to Rosa, Rosa Parks, where we cut down to Church Street and take that all the way to Trumbull, and we'll cross back, get back onto Michigan Avenue. <laughs> Michigan Avenue to 6th, 6th to Bagley. Bagley all the way back home, baby. That's my favorite walking route. What can you bench now? Mostly weights. <laughs> Jessica, I was asking that again. <laughs> Mostly weights. Well, what can I bench now, like weight-wise? About tree fitty. <laughs> That's not even close to tree. What would you do if you were being chased by a wild boar, asks Sarah Coop. Hmm. I would probably have a spear and lean like lay down so the spear would jump on me and then use its own weight to impale itself. So, Legend of the Fall is where I got that from, apparently. I just I knew I'd seen it somewhere. Where is that shirt from, asked Sarah Coop. The answer is a boutique in Paris, actually. Uh, can we see Charlie? Hey, Joey, can you bring me Charlie again? We got a Charlie. Here is Charlie. He does not like being on camera. All right. I think that's it. Oh, sound of that beer opening. This throws classic, by the way, folks. It means I'll... I only drink classic. Oh, that's not what I said. He got me a beer. What does he want? A banana. A what? A banana. <laughs> 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 All right, we got a new guy. He doesn't know what's going on. Question one, game two. 
what's the name of this boat? <laughs> is it A, the Detroit Princess? Is it B, the Detroit Duchess? Is it C, the Detroit Queen? Or is it D, the Detroit Prince? Looking for the name of that boat. Sick of not knowing the name of that boat. The answer is A, the Detroit Princess. Great like, dinner boat goes up and down the Detroit River. There's dinner, there's dancing, and maybe even romancing. Oh, speaking of which, 69% of you got that right. 25% of you said it was Detroit Queen. Let's move on. Question two. What is the name of the bridge that connects Detroit to Windsor? Is it A, the Envoy Bridge? Is it B, the Diplomat Bridge? Is it C, the Emissary Bridge? Or is it D, the Ambassador Bridge? Hey, Charlie, chill out. Chill. Charlie's doing laps in here. Correct answer there is D, the Ambassador Bridge. See how many of you guys got that right. 81%, way to go. Two people thought it was the Diplomat Bridge. The Diplomat does happen to be my Xbox Live gamer tag, so maybe that's what you were thinking of. <laughs> One person thought it was the Envoy Bridge. Nobody thought it was the Emissary Bridge. The Emissary in Star Trek Deep Space Nine was a religious figure, not a bridge. Question three. What is the name of the Greek Orthodox Cathedral in Greektown? Is it A, Annunciation? Is it B, Proclamation? Is it C, Pronunciation? Or is it D, Declaration? <laughs> Correct answer is A, Annunciation, which according to the internet means Proclamation. These are all pretty much <laughs> synonyms here. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that was on the internet too. The hand gesture, like to make sure, like this, like that. Forty-four percent of you got that right. That's already three in the books for game two. That means we got to take a look at this leaderboard, see what's what. So in second place is Jesser's B. So this time we're not going to give a prize for second place. <laughs> Just kidding. Seventh place, Andy Bisky. Looks like 160 points. First place, Min P. 260 points. Question four. We got Donald J. Biden playing. That's a cool name. Question four. What neighborhood was this taken in? Is it A, downtown? Is it B, midtown? Is it C, Eastern Market, or is it D, Lafayette Park? I'm looking for what neighborhood that was taken in. And that is the oldest and largest open air market in the country, C, Eastern Market. Home to many beautiful murals, including a festival called Murals in the Market, along with actual murals in the market. 47% of you got that one right. Way to go. Question five, what building was the heaviest building ever relocated on tires? Is it A, Hudson? Is it B, Gemin Century? Is it C, Elwood Grill? Or is it D, Old Mariner's Church? I'm looking for which one of the heaviest building ever moved on wheels, tires, whatever. Correct answer is B, the Gemin Century. Now, the Elwood Grill and the Gemin Century were both moved when they were putting in uh, Comerica Park and Ford Field. Old Mariner's Church was moved when they are putting in uh, Hart Plaza. And Hudson's was, I guess, technically moved when they imploded it. No longer there. Question six. What Detroit street used to be called Main Street? Is it A? Eight Mile. Is it B, Grand River? Is it C, Woodward? Or is it D, Jefferson? Looking for which street used to be called Main Street is no longer. 
And that is B. Jefferson. I got a feeling almost everybody says Woodward on this one. Let's take a look. So we got only 29% of you said it was Jefferson. It was evenly split between Grand River and Woodward. All right, let's take a look at the leaderboard. So in seventh place, my mom with 209 points, Mama Mia. In second place, moving up is Min. Okay, now we'll give a, play, a prize in second place. Yes, sir, just move down. So second place is now getting a prize, Min P. First place, Will McDowell, no stranger to first place. See also Kevin Kleps is still playing. Thank you for sticking with us, Kevin. Aunt, Aunt Marge in Knoxville playing. Jared, so here, I left. Oh, Connor Good made it. I can see his uh, pseudonym here. Question seven. Going into Sunday's game, how many games had the Lions lost in a row? Is it A, 11? Is it B, 9? Is it C, 6? Or is it D, 8? They, they ended up winning on Sunday, which is great because that means we're going to get to keep Matt Patricia for at least another week. Yay! Yay! The answer is A, 11. Obviously the highest number, but it doesn't score really bad. Looks like 59% of you got that right. Way to go. Question eight. Get away from these stupid lines. Which of these U.S. presidents lived in Detroit? Is it A, Ford? Is it B, Kennedy? Is it C, Jefferson? Is it D, Grant? Looking for the president that lived in Detroit. The answer may surprise you. <laughs> Is it is D, Ulysses S. Grant, post-Civil War or post-presidency. He moved up here to Detroit. He's known for racing a horse up and down Jefferson Avenue, I believe. Be not for yeah, you got to be known for something. I'm not just winning the Civil War. 50% <laughs> of you knew that. You might even know that a house was recently moved to Eastern Market. Not exactly sure why there, but that's where they moved it. Take a look at question nine. What building is this statue in? Is it A, LCA? Is it B, Ford Field? Is it C, Comerica Park? Or is it D, TCF Center? So what building that statue's in? The statue should be some approximately here. That was right. That was right. Amen. And that is, of course, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. And he is in B, the TCF Center. A very tall statue. He's a tall man, but even taller statue. No one can see the hand, but we know it's up. <laughs> Let's take a look at this leaderboard that I keep hearing about. In seventh place, we've got, oh, the person with my mom, now it's my dad in seventh place. Um, oh, moving up to yes. second place is Jesser's B, so we will oh. no longer be giving a, uh, a prize for second place, unfortunately. First place is Will McDowell, 709 points. All right, on to, just kidding, Jeff. There's B. <laughs> it's like the old Budweiser commercial. Yes, sir. Yes. B. <laughs> Question 10. What area hospital canceled plans for a sports med medicine facility near Little Caesars Arena? Is it A, Beaumont? Is it B, Henry Ford? Is it C, DMC? Or is it D, St. John? Not the ward, the hospital. It could be right by, it could have been very convenient for the piston, but it's not anymore because C, the DMC canceled it. We're going to allocate the funds to probably mismanagement because that's what they've been doing for a while. 29% of you got that right. 41% thought it was Beaumont. Five people thought it was Henry Ford. Nobody thought it was St. John's Hospital or Ward, apparently. Question 11. <laughs> what highway is known as the Davidson? Is it A? US 12? Is it B, M 108? Is it C, M 8? 
Or is it D, M, Ken? We're looking for which one is known as the Davis engine. That's C, M, 8. See how many of you guys know your, oh, 53%, way to go. A few people thought it was US 12, which, nope, nobody thought it was US 12, which is Michigan. M108 is eight mile. And M10 is the lodge. All right. Question 12. Which of these museums is not in Midtown? Is it A, Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History? Is it B, the DIA? Is it C, the Michigan Science Center? Or is it D, the Motown Museum? Which one could it be? I'll tell you, it's D, the Motown Museum. Now we are moving on to question 13. Lucky number 13, if you ask me. Which of these cities is Oakland University in? Is it A, Troy? Is it B, Pontiac? Is it C, Pleasant Ridge? Is it D, Auburn Hills? Which in my script I spelled Hills with a Z, that's pretty fun. The correct answer is in D, Auburn Hills. Also part of it is in Rochester Hills. See how many of you guys know your OU? It's 53%, what are the bears? Uh, Golden Grizzlies. The Golden Grizzlies, because those are some very prevalent in Oakland County. <laughs> Let's take a look at our leaderboard, see who's in the mix here for our final few questions. In seven places, my dad. Way to go, dad. Yeah, dad. Yeah. Third place, Andy Bisky, 810 points. Third. Third. <laughs> First place, Jess. Third. <laughs> First place, Will McDowell with 1,013 points, which also is 1013, which is also my birthday. So that's pretty cool. On to question 14. What city just decriminalized magic mushrooms? Is it A, Ypsilanti? Is it B, Ann Arbor? Is it C, Detroit? Or is it D, Dearborn? Keep in mind, decriminalized does not mean legalized. You can get in trouble, you just won't go to jail. And initially. <laughs> the correct answer is B. Ann Arbor. 82% of you got that right, drug addicts. <laughs> Let's take a look at our leaderboard before we get to our final question of the evening. Let's see here, in seven, oh, seven places, Donald J. Biden, 561 points, going home with $5 to boil resale. In second place, despite my best efforts, yes, there's B. Getting $5 to Bora, $5 to Bagley Central, and a free walking tour with me. No, wait, that's Will McDowell getting that free walking tour. Will McDowell's getting both gift certificates and the free walking tour. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's one more question. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I've been spending too much time in Ann Arbor. This is crazy. This blew my mind. I thought we were done. No, no. Oh, well, let's find out. <laughs> Yeah. Now we got we got one more question to get Jesser's B out of there. <laughs> question fifteen: What year were the Tigers founded? Is it A, nineteen eleven? Is it B, nineteen o one? Is it C, nineteen twenty one? Or is it D, nineteen thirty one? So we're looking for the year the Tigers were founded. I have a T-shirt that says this. If that helps you at home, the correct answer is B, nineteen o one. Now let's look at our final standings. Maybe things have changed. Maybe they haven't. We'll find out after we see that 59% of you got that right. That's a lot. Just gotta take a look at this leaderboard to one, Nick. Is it? Oh, now it's popping up for me. <laughs> Seventh place is Donald J. Biden. So it looks like nothing changed from my erroneous call of the game being over. 
Uh, we got Donald J. Biden in seventh place going over five dollars to borrow resale. In second place, Jesser's B getting five dollars to borrow and five dollars to Bagley Central. In first place, Will McDowell. Will the thrill McDowell? What is this? How many is this now, Will? Six, seven, eight? Who knows? One thousand one hundred sixty-four points. Free walking tour. Five dollars to Bagley. Five dollars to borrow. Way to go, Will. Thanks again for joining us for Herb Peel Trivia. I hope you had fun. I know I did. Big shout out to Nick and Joey for helping out behind the scenes. Nick's doing on a couple of fist bumps. What are you doing, Joey? I know he's got a just one. <laughs> and a big thank you to Boro Resale, to Bagley Central, to you for playing. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy. As always, whoa, stay hungry. Oh, I got, got another sticker. <laughs> so we've got, <laughs> we got an up banana this week, folks. What's up, banana? Delicious with this, I hope. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good. It takes Joey a half hour to eat a banana. He just like that. I don't need to talk to a doctor. <laughs> Brown banana is taking a half hour to eat. <laughs> <laughs>